Hey everyone, today's lesson is multiplying and dividing integers. If you have the lesson worksheet, take that out so you can follow along and complete the examples with me. And if you don't have it, grab a sheet of paper and a pencil and you can copy them down. Here we go. Here's the problem. We are going to find each product or quotient. Now remember that the product is simply the answer to a multiplication problem and the quotient is the answer to a division problem. And we're going to solve these four problems. But before we do that, let's copy the rules. Now, the rules for multiplying and dividing integers are so easy. So much easier than the rules for addition and subtraction. All right, are you ready? We're going to copy them down right now. You're going to look at your signs. And when your signs are the same, your answer is going to be positive. So whether you have two positives or two negatives, as long as those signs are the same, your product or your quotient is going to be positive. If you look at your problem and you have different signs, one's positive and one's negative, if those signs are different, your answer, your product or quotient is going to be negative. And it is as easy as that. Okay, let's do these examples. So our first problem is positive 5 times negative 6. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these two numbers, these two integers, and I'm going to look at their signs. And I'm going to ask myself, are they the same or are they different? Now when I look at these, I see that I have one positive integer and one negative integer. So that tells me right away that my signs are different. And that means my answer is going to be negative, right? Because those signs are different. So I'm going to put a little negative sign there. Then I'm just going to do the math. 5 times 6 is 30. So once you put the sign in, then just do the multiplication or the division. Okay, our next example is negative 12 divided by negative 2. So I'm going to copy my problem down. And I'm going to look at my signs. So when I look at these two signs, I ask myself, are they the same or are they different? Well, I've got two negatives going on here, so that means they're the same. Now, because they're the same, my answer is going to be positive. And it doesn't matter that they're both negatives, right? It's still going to give me a positive answer. That's the rule. Two negatives are going to give me a positive when I'm multiplying or dividing. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So my answer is positive 6. Now when we write this answer, we probably wouldn't put the little plus sign in front of it. We would just keep it as a 6. All right, my next example. My next example looks like a fraction. Look at this. I've got 24 over negative 3. Well, 24 over negative 3 means division. But again, we're going to look at those signs. I'm going to ask myself, are they the same or are they different? Well got a positive 24 and I've got a negative 3, so I'm going to say that these signs are different. Because these signs are different, my answer is going to be negative. And then I'm just going to do the math. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. My last example is negative 9, and then right in parentheses I have negative 8. So remember, that means multiplication. I'm going to look at my signs. I'm going to ask myself, are they the same or are they different? Two negatives, right? Same sign. Since they're the same, that means my answer is going to be a positive. And then I just say 9 times 8 is 72. So to recap, you're only going to look at your signs. And that's going to tell you whether the answer is positive or negative. If the signs are the same, we're going to have a positive answer, and if the signs are different, we're going to have a negative answer. So a positive 5 times a negative 6 is going to give us a negative 30, right? Because those signs are different, so I have a negative answer. My next example, I had negative 12 by negative 2. Those signs were the same, so my answer is a positive 6. 24 divided by 3, those signs are different, so my answer is a negative 8. 
And then finally, negative 9 times negative 8, those signs are the same, they're both negative, so my answer is positive 72. So at this point, you should stop the video and you should start working on these nine problems and try to do as many as you can. Try to do all of them, right? Don't let seven, eight, and nine scare you. You can handle it. And then just start the video when you're ready and we will go over them. All right, let's go over these. So we have a positive five times a negative seven. Those signs are different. So my answer is going to be a negative and five times seven is 35. The next example, I have negative 20 divided by negative 4. Those signs are the same, so my answer is positive. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. For number 3, I've got two positives I'm multiplying together, so the signs are the same. Positive 10 times positive 2 is going to give me a positive answer, and 10 times 2 is 20. And again, we don't write these plus signs in front normally. I'm only doing that because you're just learning it today. For number four, different signs. I have a negative 25 and a positive 5, so my answer is negative. 25 divided by 5 is 5. For number five, here's one that looks like a fraction again, right? I've got a positive and a negative, different signs, so my answer is negative, and 40 divided by 5 is 8. Number six, look at these signs, they're the same. I've got two negatives, which gives me a positive answer, and five times nine is 45. Now these last three, we can take them one step at a time. So let's start with number seven here. I'm gonna do five times negative two, and that's gonna give me a negative 10 to start out with. And then I'm gonna bring down that times seven. Negative 10 times positive seven, these are different signs, so my answer will be negative. 70. For number 8, I have negative 4 times negative 5. These two negatives are going to give me a positive 20. And then I'm going to bring down that 3. I've got a positive 20 times a positive 3 now, and two positives give me a positive 60. And that time I didn't put the little plus sign because I really don't have to. For number 9, I've got a negative 6 times a negative 2. That's a positive 12. And then I'm going to bring down this negative 2 over here. Negative 12 times, I mean, I'm sorry, positive 12 times negative 2. My signs are different, so that's a negative 24. All right, so this was pretty easy, you have to admit. Um, probably a lot easier for you than the adding and subtracting. At least for me, it's always been easier. The only confusion is when you have all four operations at one time and you have to keep everything straight. Um, but you guys, hopefully, after taking these notes and doing the examples and practicing, you are integer pros at this point. See you next time.